Hello guys, welcome back. This is DOE and you are watching the continuation of Let's Play Life is Strange Episode 1. And now we snuck, snuck out, out of um, Chloe's place. And now we are here in our Daymare place. So let us, let us, uh, let's play. See what we can uncover. Chloe's step Warren. two better not cause me trouble. Close step, whatever. We have a journal entry. Holy crap, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Let's look at this one first. Warren. Uh, I'll get you back, sir. No problem. And you still have to tell me your big secret equals kek. What's kek? Is that supposed to be lol? What's kek? I don't know what kek is. I don't know. I don't know what's that. What that stands for. Oh wow! Look at that black eye. Earth to Max, you're white knight Warren here. I know you were worried about me. I owe you one. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call you back later. Okay? I swear. No problem. And you still have to tell me your big secret equals K E K. I don't know what that means. I'm not up to date with uh, the terminologies in texting. All right, uh, Kate. Let's see. New text, right? Hey Max, you're around always. Okay, do you want to get tea later? Absolutely not. Talk to you. Okay, thanks again, Max, for helping me. That's when we help. No problem. That guy is an asshole. Chloe's dad is an asshole. So more foot photographs, right? For us to see. Rachel Amber forever. Uh, Max. What did what else do we uncover? Alright. Next. That that's it? That's all we covered? Okay. So now the stories the the journal readings. We gotta complete it. So there's new there's thirteen to twenty one, so that's what? Nine nine page new nine nine new pages. So let us read about it. Ta -da. So that is the journal read. Let us go and do some character reads. Look at that. New characters for us to read. So let us read Warren. E equals MC squared. No matter how much Blackwell seems like a secret bubble of knowledge, you can't escape the real world. Yes, you can't. Yes, you can't. So that is everything. Journal and character reads if you want to hear the full character and the full journal and character reads just click a link somewhere I'm sure I'm gonna put it there in the videos and click it and watch it oops so let us continue so on they can always escape oh can they always escape stump what is this Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Who is that? What is that? Max? Uh, Max, Chloe, and... Max, Chloe, BFF Pirates, 2008. Oh, look at that. Uh, so cute. Look, look at the map. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Really? <sighs> Oh. Alright. So many things. Oh, campfire. Looks, Looks like, like she hangs out here a lot. Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. What, you never used? Trust no one. How long has Look that, that been here? That's probably Chloe. Look at that gorilla. Graffiti? No Clearly. Graffiti. The Bigfoots are everywhere. Look at that. Bigfoot. Lighthouse. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Oh, such a dork. Anything else here for us to uh, look? Ooh, what was this? Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? Uh huh. Interesting. Must be animals. Let's Weird. See that. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. 
Reminds you of what? Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. The wind? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Is that supposed to be cryptic? Alright, let's uh let's sit down with Chloe right here. Look this at her. This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. Can we take a photo? I want to take a photo. I guess not. Ooh, what's that? What is that? I just saw some new picture. Ooh, what's this? No. Interesting. Uh, so these are the pictures. Okay, we collect pictures throughout. We just gotta keep reading those stuff and we collect pictures. And uh, now I know. So let's speak. You sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience mm -hmm. it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. Never trusted him. He freaked out on Kate. Huh. Kate? I should have taken his photo. Yeah. I should have taken his photo when he flipped out on Kate today. That would be killer blackmail material. Let's bust his ass. He has some mm -hmm. kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? What files? What files? David stashes his secret X files in there. I saw them once, but he secures them now. He kind of creeps me out. I bet the truth is out there in his files. Most likely, but it's good you didn't find his files. He would go ballistic. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. That's I right. I on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Even yours? Okay, but Not Nathan anymore. Prescott. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell uh -oh. me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. He was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. Hmm. How I don't really want to know how much. Let's so find out about Nathan. What about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe, I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? Damn. I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perp was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. Oh, okay. Max, it was insane. Nice. That is fucked Chloe, up. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after mm. all these years feels like destiny. Destiny. Really? We're gonna go with that? Fine. Uh, what's 
the next step, guys. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. You've been replaced. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Wow. Oh. Oh no! Not again! Damn. Why Our is day mare. Why am I here again? So that was a deer. We found foot tracks. So what are we doing here again? This is the different Chloe's part, is it? I have to find out. Oh snap! <laughs> I did not see that at all. Holy crap. So we have... We have rewind powers in our daymare. Oh. Let's uh, rewind time again. A little bit so we can cross this thing. Pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do, right? There we go. Lighthouse. Let's get up there. A deer. Can you run? Well, kind of. You can kind of run. I've never seen a storm like this before. Uh oh. You've never seen a storm like this? I've never seen a storm like this either. So. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Uh oh! Uh -oh. Holy crap! Uh oh! It's gonna fall on us! Oh! Nope! We got rewind powers, bitches! I wonder how we'll get around this. Just oh, keep going. What's this? Read. Let's read first. That October saved us. 11? Is this Friday? That's only four Is this days the future? Away. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Uh oh. We can predict the future Coach, too. You're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just saw them. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, her? okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell uh -oh. insane fucking day. How can you prove it to her? What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Uh -oh. It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. That's... That's how... That's how she got convinced? What? What? That's how she got convinced, really? The weather change? Man. It's 
like watching a TV series. Hmm, interesting. Why is she crying? Oh, is that a bomb? Oh, Principal's a drunk. Oh, Jefferson. Nathan Prescott. Huh. Wow. I'm like I like this the story is pulling me in. Wow. Oh, so that's episode one. That's a pretty good ending. Wow. Even though we didn't really play a lot of Life is Strange in episode one, it was still captivating. The story, the things that you could do, it pulled you in as a player. You know, it pulled you into the story and made you want to do different kind of decisions, different kind of uh, outcomes. You know, it made you want to rewind of all of that. But sometimes, you know, it didn't really give you a choice. The There's only one choice for the rewind sometimes. Like saving Chloe, obviously. Because she's one of the main characters. Uh, obviously, in this, uh, if you play through the game of episode 1, it will show you that ma Chloe is a main character. One of the main characters in the story. Or really part of the story. So, you really have to save her there so you have to keep rewinding and try to save her you know to uh, break the fire break the glass so you can press the fire alarm fast enough before nathan prescott can shoot chloe but there are other things like you know as i read through the journal uh, the journal entries could have been different if you did some actions differently like for example uh telling Alyssa, you know in front of the dormitory dormitory where uh Victoria got paint all over her there was a female there where Max told her to move her head and she did or we did we told her we decided to tell her and she didn't get hit by a football and Max put that in her journal ent entry which is pretty nice but if we didn't do that I'm sure I'm 100% sure that that journal entry would have been different so those are nice touches that uh that are in the game because it tells you when you make a choice there's a this this there's a con uh, there will be a consequence later or something like that on the upper left whenever you make a choice which is kind of funny like I first realized it when I erased some writings on a uh, whiteboard and put a peace sign mark or well, I didn't draw the peace sign mark but Max did um, on her own but uh, so far so good this uh, this game I like I like the game pretty good so I can't wait to play episodes 2 3 and 4 so far there are only four episodes so I will be playing the second episode guys so uh, stay tuned for that and uh, I'll let this credits rolling I'm sure we're gonna see it every time we finish an episode so this is again this is episode 1 and uh, I'll just wait till uh, this this whole thing is finished.
All right, guys, that was the credits, and well, I'm pretty sure I. S All right, guys, let's get the credits, and here we are. Um, this is, I guess, the results of your decisions throughout the game. You reported Nathan, sixty-four percent. You hid the truth, thirty-four percent. Victoria, you made fun of Victoria, twenty-five percent. You comforted Victoria, seventy-five percent. Check mark. You took a photo of David harassing Kate, 18%. We did. You intervened to help out Kate, 82%. What's those percentage? You took the blame for Chloe, 24%. You blamed Chloe, 1%. You stayed hidden, 37%. You came out of hiding to intervene, 38%. What are these stats? What are these percentages? It seems like we've all, if we decided to take a photo of David harassing Kate, what is the meaning of 18 percent? All right. What is the meaning of that? Friend stats. World stats. World stats. Oh wait. So is that like all in all? Like every player of this game that is the stat maybe sixty six percent of all players of Life is Strange episode one reported Nathan. Is that it? Huh. I don't know. Maybe it is. Interesting. Interesting. So, guys, that is. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa! Wow, that is a nice. That was a nice thing for you to. <laughs> I want to play episode 2 now. Right away. I will play episode 2 right away. But first, I'll end the video here, guys. So thanks for watching. Well, actually, before that, if you have any questions or tips about the game, leave a comment. If there's anything specific you guys want me to do in the game, leave a comment. I'll read it, and I'll try to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. I can't wait to play the episode 2. And this is DOE. I am out. But um bum